The final suspect in the murder of Roe and Sweeney has been sentenced. Brandon Crump was the trigger man in the incident that killed the four-year-old Struthers boy and injured four others. Gina Cadigan was inside the courtroom as the judge handed out the harshest sentence a suspect in this case has received. Good evening, Gina. Well, the judge wasn't able to give Crump life in prison without the possibility of parole since he was under 18 when this happened. But the judge recognized this is a case where a little boy died and four others were injured and felt a harsh sentence was needed. The last suspect in the deadly Struthers home invasion faced a judge. Brandon Crump could not be sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole because he was under 18 when the shooting happened. But prosecutors still wanted to see a harsh sentence. The defendant, Brandon Lee Crump, committed the worst form of the offense and poses the greatest likelihood of committing future offenses. The pain I feel knowing I have to live the rest of my existence without my baby is a pain I wouldn't wish on anybody. The defense wanted to see a sentence of 25 years to life in prison. Since Kamani Bryant and Andre McCoy were also involved that night, Crump's lawyer blamed them. Without those two, no crime occurs here, regardless of who went in the house, regardless of what happened. The judge said he struggled with the decision and felt he couldn't give a sentence that would exceed Crump's life expectancy. Ultimately, Crump was sentenced to 52 to 53 and a half years to life in prison. No sentence given could ever have been enough, doesn't change the fact of what happened. But I think the judge did a great job given the fact that his hands were tied under this ridiculous Ohio law protecting these juveniles. The Sweeney family says they'll keep their nonprofit going to honor Rowan's life and will work to change the law that protects minors from being sentenced to life in prison. Additionally, since Crump was a minor when the shooting happened, Ohio law requires he be eligible for parole after 25 years. With more local news, I'm Gina Cadigan.